Hello everybody, how you doing? James here. S still slowly recovering from the from the sinus infection I had. Up across you might be hearing me kinda nasally a little bit. Oh, sorry about that. But anyway, um I wanna discuss about what's been happening lately with the with the woman over and got arrested in Dubai. So it's going to, but you've probably heard a couple commenters talk about the woman over in Dubai. What happened? She got into an argument with with, with one of the uh, staff at a, at a rental agency. She yelled at him. And she got arrested for yelling. And so a lot of guys were like, she was completely in the wrong. You know, she could have handled a little more better. Blah blah blah. And there's this and there's, there's guys that travel. And I I was listening to their video, and there's certain things in the laws I didn't even know about. I mean, I didn't know there's certain things like raising your voice or making certain gestures can be like cursing and swearing. You you go to jail and prison for that. Uh, smoke. I mean, certain things that certain countries have that are really, really strict. And in an America, you know, when you're American, and I do agree, you have to act like what what you can do at home, you can't do abroad. You, you I mean, it's just common sense. But you know, a lot of people, you know, we have a, Americans that here that they so used to being so out there. And they don't really use their head, you know, and know that when you in a different part of the world, you can't do everything like you do in America. You don't, and think that you get away with this this water under the dust back. No, 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 no. You know, some people don't take take it seriously. I mean, they take it up. Uh, but uh, when I saw what was happening, I'm like, oh, geez, this is crazy, man. But, uh, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be mindful where you at. But I'm gonna start with a couple ones that, with the smaller tubes, and then I'm gonna work my way up. Um, this was, uh, one of the shortest ones. That's why she was there. That was her dream. 
So please, again, give her a pass, y'all. Yeah, we feel you, bro. And technically, I do hear that she wasn't over there, you know, trying to date or mess with the men. She was over there actually working. We're still going to share our opinion on it. Now, we all know if this was a man that was in this situation locked up overseas, the women here in the States would be calling him a passport bro and making all types of TikToks and social media videos. And there would be a bunch of women in the comments laughing. But I'm not going to do that to this woman simply because she is in jail. And I don't wish jail on my worst enemy. I don't wish jail on nobody. Truly, the only people that need to be in jail are people that commit serious crimes. No, I really don't want her to go to jail behind this. Even though some women wish men would go to jail if they didn't do nothing. On Fox, the last two months are described as terrifying for a Houston woman who we're told is being detained in Dubai. Fox 26's Domly Keith joining us live near downtown Houston with why she's being held, Domly. Well, the crime she's charged with may surprise you, and Dubai is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she was charged with screaming in public. It, al it also could result in prison time. So it's very scary. The trip turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Um, she dealt with a very ag aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. The lie detective determined that was a lie. Um, she dealt with a very ag aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. That man in Dubai just started screaming at this woman. He started screaming for a reason. She started screaming and speaking over him. So he felt like he needed to raise his voice to speak over her. Now, of course, I don't know what happened, but at the same time, us American men can breathe through this fluff. She decided to act up and effed around and found out. True. Baxter says her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent. She says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. And so she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. It's been very emotional. There are some days I stay up all night crying. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. This website warns, quote, laws and customs are very different, so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in United Arab Emirates. Now, after Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. It is very frightening. Um, the longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. Now, the 29-year-old does now have an attorney there in Dubai, and her mom says she's told that she could face jail time because there is surveillance video of her screaming. Now, we have reached out to the U.S. and the UAE embassies. Will government officials step in and give her assistance? I'm still awaiting responses. I heard she was trying to start a trucking business there, and I'm sure she passed the test and got certified to drive trucks and operate trucks in Dubai. She also should have looked up the laws and how you move. BBC News had an article on the 10 things you cannot do in Dubai, and this was back in 2016. And one of them on here do refer to swearing. Also, what else they got on here? Holding hands, and I'm not gonna touch that one. Uh, dancing, oh damn, you can't even dance out there? Um, but, uh, dancing is allowed in the privacy of your home or at licensed clubs. Um, sharing a room, photographing women. Wow. Mm, I'm not going to pronounce that word because.
because I can't and we're going to get all these English grammar teachers down in the comments below. But uh, it says non-payment of debt. Oh, okay, it's like not paying your hotel bill or things like that. Maybe her rental car bill fell up under this. But now it's got me wondering, what is the punishment for acting ratchet and cursing in public? And it looks like the punishment will be by detention for a period not exceeding six months. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm sure after six months, she has learned her lesson. She will never curse at another man in public again, even in the U.S. And this is interesting, too, guys, that this is federal law. This is government law out there, man. Muslim men, I must say, they they keep their women in order. Don't argue, we don't fudge. No talking, he get touched. Now, at the same time, this law is not only for women, it's for men, too. They keep all their citizens in check. Women don't talk to men like that in that country. The men run their society over there. That's why Dubai is a booming, flourishing country versus a declining U.S. society where women got more rights than the men who built the country. But that's all I got in this video. Hit that. Wow. But it was... It wasn't the only one that had an opinion about this. Um, interested what did it say about this one. I'm going to play a short segment of him. But there were other people that come. I'm going to their video too. I'm going to play like a little small, small bit. Anyway, 
Uh, shout out to my man Simple Shit TV. Support Black Bell Media. Salute the Ice Lords in the chat. Oh man, appreciate you guys. Who else we got up in there? Urban Eagle, man. But look, let's go ahead and just unravel this mess that one of our lovely ladies has involved herself in. Uh, let me do this first, man. I want to give a, make sure I give a big shout out to all my guys in the Wrench Mob. Let's see who we got put up in. We got to do it, man. We got to do the preliminaries. Randy Irvin, Broken Blade, Irvin Eagle. Uh, who else? With Afro Richardson. That is a, that's a dope name. Afro Richardson. That's dope. Like that, man. Keep that. That's, that's what's up. I'm going to steal that name from a third child. Uh, a third girl child. Michael J. Big shout out to you. Mr. 43TX. Thank you so much, man. Jamal Smith. Always good to have you fellas up in here, man. Who else we got up in here, man? Flawless Fitness. That's what I need to get some flawless fitness popping off. Who else we got, man? Let's see. I already got a shout out to Arrowhead. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Let's see who we got rolling through. We rolling through, man. We want to make sure we acknowledge all of the, the branch mobs, all the members, all of you guys who keep this thing running. All of you guys who pay me for my time. Thank you so much. I want to make sure I acknowledge y'all. Nevertheless, if you haven't already, understand this before we get started good. Y'all make sure y'all check out Co-Parenting with the Spurlings if you haven't seen it already. This is the next episode. It's coming up on Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 5 p.m. West Coast Time, and of course, 8 p.m. New York Time and East Coast Time. This is it coming up. It's a story about me and my uh, ex-wife and how we get together and co-parent these wonderful boys of ours. So y'all, this is a commercial coming up. Guest appearance, guest star coming up. Bam. Coming up next time. I want to let you know that okay. my ex-girlfriend is pregnant. So the one thing that I can tell you to do is you have to be in control. Is she ready for what this role requires? Why are we having this conversation? I'm going to have to make her understand that she needs to move back out here. I have my family, I got, you know, my work and everything, and now I have everything balanced. What he needs to do is run to this conversation. It's going to be had. Co-parenting with the Spurlings. Fiance, girlfriend, have a baby. Like what? Look, man. Look, it's co-parent. Look, I'm just look. Look, it's, it's, we we making the rules up as we go along. Look, I'm telling you, some stuff is gonna get you aggravated. Some of the stuff gonna make her <laughs> the ladies aggravated. But it's co-parenting, man. There ain't no science to that. Y'all just make sure y'all check it out. If you guys appreciate, y'all been watching co-parenting with the Sprellers right here on the channel every Thursday, man. It's Take Back Thursday. Somebody type Take Back Thursdays in the chat room. You see what I mean? Take, take back Thursdays in the chat room. That's what this is about. Good black American television. Good black American images. All my hate watches in here. I got a special song for y'all coming up tonight. Special treat for y'all. Nevertheless, even if you hate me, I still make black people look good. Even if you hate me, I still make black women look good. You understand what I'm saying? I got just Brittany on there. And she looked good. She's classy. Speaking with some good common intelligence sense. My ex-wife on there with her loud, sassy self. Got her on there looking good. You see what I'm saying? Black people speaking to each other like we got sense. I make you look good. All right? So, hey, watch me all you want to. Nevertheless, I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing, and I'm going to keep on speaking this truth, whether you like it or not. Now, that said, ah, tonight we got a special broadcast. Somebody type in the chat room. Do this for me. Somebody type, I told you so, in the chat room. Come on now. Come come on now. I might need to put some mute, mood music on. I told you so. Come on. Come on now. Didn't I tell y'all, fellas, it's not us, it's them? I told y'all, I've been telling you that. I'm probably one of the first one to tell you. It's not us, it's them. i also been telling you that these lovely ladies are going to start, uh, you're going to have to turn that cold shoulder and start stepping over the bodies. Remember that? I, heard, I told you that the world has a chastisement for them. This is the most high doing, not on us. You said, didn't I tell you that? Well, lo and behold, lo and behold, what's happening? You got this uncovered woman traveling abroad. You got a passport sister failing again. What was she charged with? Not stealing. <laughs> not, not robbing, not killing. Screaming in public. Loud talking, neck rolling, finger waving in public. That is common practice here in the good old U.S. of A. But that's what happened to her. The other two months. You understand what I'm saying? 
So here's the thing, man. The young lady's name, and y'all saw the report. Matter of fact, let's just roll through the report real quick. We just, we, we, I mean, you've seen the report. We don't have to do, we need to see the report again. I think you, you get the point. I think y'all get the point. Right, but let's go ahead and look at the report again. Let's let's analyze. As terrifying for a Houston woman who we're told is being detained in Dubai. Fox 26's Domly Keith joining us live near downtown Houston. With so she's in. So what happened? You got a young woman who apparently is an online social media person, and she's over in Dubai. Look, I don't know why you would travel to Dubai, ladies. Go to Hawaii, okay? Dubai, it sounds good. It's not somewhere you want to go alone. It's not, you can't have a hot girl summer in Dubai. It's not going to work out for you. Yet and still, this lovely lady decided to go. And let's see what happens. Why she's being held, Dolly? Well, the crime she's charged with may surprise you. And Dubai... The only reason it surprises you, the crime is because we're so used to it that it's normal practice, okay? We're so used to it that it's normal practice. But it's not normal in other places for people to do what? Hmm? Hmm? What is she going to say? It is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is trying to get back to the Bayou City. Yeah, that's what y'all like to do. Uh, go over there. You single women want to go to Dubai. You think it's a game? All right, let's get But according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she was charged with screaming in public. Screaming? She was charged with screaming in public. Now, let's do an overseas translation for you. It wasn't screaming. It was loud talking. You know how lovely ladies like to loud talk men because they don't think a man can tell them anything? Who going to check me, boo? Right? Somebody type, who going to check me, boo, in the chat room? Cool. Right? They all got they all, right, all got bitten by that disease. And so now you over in, in, in Dubai, deep in the caliphate. Right? <laughs> you over in the caliphate talking about who going to check me, boo. They, they showed you. Keep listening. It, al it also could result in prison time. Mm. So it's very scary. The trip turned terrible. And that's her mama, right? Trying to, you know, terrify. She, she might do two or three years behind this. We got a Britney Griner situation all over again. Keep Terrifying that. for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company. No, let's no, not pass no, no. I want y'all to understand what happened. According to her mom, her past. She was over there. Was screaming in public. Well, let me slide by real quick. I want to get this stuff. And they got into an accident there in Dubai. So let's not let that slide by. You over in a foreign country. You get in an accident. You don't tow up somebody's vehicle or whatever, rental vehicle, whatever. And you don't know what sort of insurance situation they got going on. And you think you're just going to come get your stuff and walk away. It ain't work out like that. Now you over there with a friend. I'm assuming you over there with another female. So y'all having a hot girl summer over in Dubai, okay? That ain't really no place you want to have a hot girl summer, ladies. They don't even like you running around with your, with your shirts and your tops off. You understand? You might get away with it a couple times, but we're going to talk about that a little deeper. Let's keep listening. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She went over, she went back to the rental to get ID and all that other stuff that they take from you as collateral for their car, okay? Normally, now she, did she just leave it in there? I don't know. It looks like they probably took it as collateral. So our car don't come back, you're not getting your ID to leave this country. But let's keep listening. It's she found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. You can only get your stuff back if you pay us for our car. That's basically what was said. You're only getting your stuff back. Is that's something that's that's not unheard of in some of these foreign countries? Now, what did she do in response? Instead of calling mom to say, "Look, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to hold something for a couple of days, but I get back to the
the house, <laughs> get some more routes ran, because uh, it, 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 otherwise it's gonna be a problem. I'm over here in the caliphate. I can't talk back, ma. Okay, I can't. I can't say nothing. Just send me the money. All right, I'll let you know what happened when I get there. Um, she dealt with a very ag aggressive individual, a young. All of them Arab dudes are aggressive, ma'am. They aggressive over here, okay? They aggressive over here. <laughs> you you don't think they're gonna be aggressive? You know this is black girl magic meets Muhammad. Peace be unto him. It ain't gonna work. All right, let's keep listening. A man there who was screaming at her. That's just. Now see, here's the thing I want you to understand. Somebody type green hair in the chat room. Somebody type green hair in the chat room. Here's what you got to understand. That's their country. And, and you're hearing a female's perspective right now. You're hearing the woman's perspective. Oh, she screamed at me first. They don't care about that. You screamed at all is a problem over there. Do you not know where you are? This is what I'm trying to help you understand. Sometimes you got to bow down when you're in these people's countries. And obviously, this lovely young lady didn't. Says her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car. You yell back at the Muslim man in the Arab country. That's what you did. That's your crime. You yelled at the Muslim man in the Arab country. Okay? Do you not know these people's history for the past 2,000 years? Do you, have you never heard of the Arab slave trade, ma'am? Do you not know that the West has been at war with these folk in the Middle East for the past 1,800 years and ain't nobody won? What does that tell you about these people? These are not people you want to get aggressive with. Especially, their women largely walk around covered up. And they bet not uncover themselves. And here you are over there with green hair. Green hair I am. Probably eating ham. That's what's that. Let's keep, yeah, some, some, let's keep listening. Let's keep listening. Let's keep listening. Her agent, she says, resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. And so she is in jail. Now this brother right here is Brother Quanell X. He is kind of like a, a modern day Al Sharpton. He goes and brings uh, attention to uh, people who have uh, suffered injustice and so on and so forth. Usually he sticks to things having to do around the Houston area in the United States. He's a, he's a very he's a Muslim brother. I, I know at one point uh, he was uh, he was a, he's a Muslim brother, and I know he's a member of the Nation of Islam at one point. So he himself understands Islam, and he should very well understand the type of Islam that they practice in the East because the honorable, honorable Elijah Muhammad speaks on it. Okay, now I want you to hear what the brother says. For one reason, one reason alone, she raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. It's now, you hear that? He understands the law. If a female raises her voice in that country, that is the law there. If a woman raises her voice at a man in that country, she could go to jail. That's the law in their country. And you lately still want to go to Dubai with your bad attitudes and tempers? I don't know. Let's keep listening. It's been very emotional. There are some days I stay up all night crying. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. When he says it's a strict law system based on theocracy, he says that it is a strict law system based, based on Islam. It is based on the teachings of the, uh, the, the, the great prophet Muhammad, peace be unto him. This is a, one of the world's largest religions. This is their country. You have to respect their country. This is a theocracy. It is based on a theocracy. Now, it may be a little bit more lax than Iran. It may be a little bit more relaxed than Saudi Arabia. But it is still a Muslim country. Website warns, quote, laws and customs are very different, so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in United Arab Emirates. You're over in the United Arab Emirates, 
and you are basically in a Muslim country. And they got a website telling you that the local laws and customs here are different. Don't do it, okay? All you free, easy, you know, easy peasy ladies, uh -uh. this is not where you need to have a hot girl summer. You over there with your home girl hopping on jet skis, riding around in green hair. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Keep going. Now, after Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. Yes. She can't go nowhere. Once they get your passport, you know nah, you're good. You're going to stay here with us till we figure this out. I mean... <laughs> There's really no, nothing you can do about it. There's nothing that can happen that you can do about it. Very frightening. Um, the longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. In our opinion. Now, I have great respect for the brother Cornell X, but he knows very well that he is only stating his opinion as a member and a citizen of the United States. Those people out there don't care about you. They don't care about us. They don't care about our opinions. They don't like the United States and what we bring. They might like Coca-Cola and Levi's jeans. But they don't like nothing else we got. The rest of the world thinks that we got a bunch of Rainbow Coalition flag waivers over here. They don't want nothing we got. You see what I'm saying? So our opinion doesn't account. The law says, and the brother admitted what the law was, and the brother is a Muslim. He knows what the law is. If a woman yells at a man in that country she is subject to be arrested in jail he knows that he's entitled to his opinion and he's doing his best job to be an advocate but he knows that this woman was in violation of the law you see so this is where we are don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in dubai it's not fair and it's not right don't punish women i want you now now now, now i want you to listen to our brother he says, don't punish women for the same thing that a man can do and get away with it in Dubai. Don't punish women for the same thing men can do. Don't they punish men for the same things that women do in this country and get away with? Huh? Let's think about that, brother. Because see, this is what these passport bros are complaining about. Men, it's a woman. He's going to jail. Woman hits a man. They try to talk the man out of pressing charge. They might even ignore it. A woman calls the police on a man here in the United States and makes a false allegation. He still got to go through a year, two years of litigation and, and possibly criminal charge, criminally charged. So all you see is what's happening over there is what happens here in the inverse. They, we don't say anything about the unfair justice system in here that falsely charges men, makes them pay child support for children that aren't theirs, even after they know. We don't say anything to these women. It's unfair, right? We're all the advocates saying how unfair it is, unfair it is for men to be subjected to these laws that women get, get favoritism from. That's what I want to know. But let's keep listening. described as terrifying for a Houston woman who we're told is being detained in Dubai. Fox 26's Domley Keith joining us live near downtown Houston with why she's being held, Domley. Well, the crime she's charged with may surprise you, and Dubai is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she... Bro, Dubai is known for confiscating passports. How do you think Dubai was built? Right. Uh, I think 
some, some people forget that. Either it's like willful ignorance or just like, maybe they just don't know. Maybe, right? uh, Dubai is built on telling people from that region very specifically, hey, come here, help me build my city. Um, I'll pay you this. Right? And instantly confiscating their passports and telling them, okay, I'm going to pay you half of that and then you build my city. That's basically, you know, Dubai, guys. Like, don't get things confused. Uh, Dubai is not the United States of America. It is not the UK. It is not any other nation that could be considered first world, right? Like, don't get that confused, right? Like, specifically if you're used to being in, like, a completely, um, you know, Christian or Catholic country, understand where you are, all right? Understand, please understand where you are. It's mandatory. This, bro, don't go to Malaysia with this neither, right? Singapore, well, Singapore maybe a little bit more lax slightly, but, um, but Malaysia and Indonesia, bro, listen, understand where you are. Like, specifically, if you're a woman and you are from, you are from the Western world, this is the only place that, that you're, that you can kind of, you know, achieve something that's similar to what you're used to, is if you stay in the West. Do not leave the West. Um, they don't put up with nothing. All right. But all right, let's give it. He was charged with screaming in public. Screaming in public. Yeah, bro. You got your charged for screaming in public. This is what I'm talking about. Bro. It, al it also could result in prison time. She's going to jail. It's scary. The trip yeah. turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. I'm a guess. I'm a guess. Let me, let, let me guess. Right? So this, the woman from Houston thought that she was in Houston. Almost positive. She went in there yelling loud. Right? Um, and she expected these, this most likely this Arab men uh, to take any of that. Uh, you know, not saying that this is like a, like a, you know, an amazing thing. Right? But understand the culture. You can't go to another country and expect for, um, you know, people to just instantly adhere to whatever your cultural norms are. Their cultural norms over there are massively different. I mean, understand, the people in Dubai, like, for example, I've been to Dubai a couple of times, guys, right? And uh, the people in Dubai, I want to call them traditionally modern, maybe, guys, right? Like, only there will, you, I mean, you could probably get away with, you know, wearing a swimsuit as a woman, right? I mean, you, you know, you can you can't, like on a yacht or something like that, bro, you can, you can, right? Just understand that, that there, there are no, no real similarities other than that, guys. I mean, like, you're in, you're in a Muslim country. You have to adhere to their, their norms, and you as a woman are not going to get away with none of what you thought you were going to get away with. And you start screaming in, in, in Dubai loudly, bro. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Okay. Um, she dealt with a very ag aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. Again, norms. Baxter says her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent, she says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. And so she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. Okay. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even... Bro, this, man is, this man's name is Quanell X. Oh, God, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. Bring that over there to Dubai. Go ahead, go, 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 go. Have fun. alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. Know where you are. Like, you're not getting, like, why are you expecting special treatment outside the West? It only happens in the West. It's been very emotional. There are some days I stay up 
all night crying. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. This website warns, quote, laws and customs are very different, so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in United Arab Emirates. Right. Now, after Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. It is very frightening. Um, the longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. Oh, guys, I hate this guy. I'm sorry. Listen to him speaking. Like, listen, guys, yes, we know coming from the West, this could never happen, guys, right? But you decided to pick up and follow all of these these influences over to Dubai and then say they, it, it is not right that this can't happen. Bro, you're in Dubai. I can only give you some, uh, some anecdotal evidence, guys. Like, so my wife and I, we went to um, uh, Morocco, right? And Morocco, again, it, it's, a, it's a king, the kingdom. Let's, let's, call this, let's call it the kingdom of Morocco because it's, Moro it's the kingdom of Morocco, right? Uh, their main religion is, is the Muslim faith. They're Muslim, right? Um, and so she is from Spain. She's been in her whole life, for the most part, in Spain, um, kind of around overall the people of Morocco, right? Because, I mean, uh, where we live in Spain, in Malaga, right, uh, is probably maybe 20 miles or so, guys. It's not far from Morocco, it's over the, uh, the Mediterranean, right? And so she was like, look, she had her whole everything covered the entire time she she was like bro i can't she didn't say bro obviously right but she was like listen i can't you're gonna have to do all the speaking here she understood going into a country that is a, that is that is different right that you need to act differently if you want to actually go to these places right um you have to like every single thing changes she's like listen you're gonna have to do all the speaking you're gonna handle your uh, uh, handle all the money handle everything everything is is on me to basically play the figurehead of the family in a sense even though, you know um and that's just how things have to you know work in this very specific type of society um they live their life differently. You want to go party in Dubai on a yacht uh, while looking up at the Burj Khalifa and the, and the gigantic fake uh, man-made ocean kind of pond thing that they have in the middle of the city? Guys, if you want to do that, you're going to have to get on, on board, bro, right? Try, bro, try to fly into Dubai with nicotine. Have fun. You can go to jail, right? <laughs> right? Go, go to Dubai with a vape, bro. Have jail, right? Go, go try to get some alcohol. Like, understand where you are. And that's the biggest thing here. Um, do I feel bad for people like this, guys? I, you know, uh, no. Uh, it, I don't. I can't, guys. Because, like, look, if you want to travel and see the world, I wish everyone um, can travel and see the world. The world is absolutely beautiful. But you have to play by the rules locally, guys. You have to. You have to. Um, because if you don't, then what? You go to jail. Um, societal norms, traditional norms are different. You're in a Muslim country, right? This is not. This is you're not in the United States of America, where 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 you're allowed to scream at the top of your lungs at a man, right? You're. You see what I'm saying? You're not there. You're 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 somewhere else. This is this place is the exact opposite, right? Whatever you think is normal, flip it upside down and do it there. That's basically how that works, guys. In a lot of countries outside of uh, of the West, right? Um, but listen, they ain't put up with none of that, bro. But all right, listen, uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day. The And boy, do I have a good one for you. Modern women, black women in particular, I feel great. Let me tell you why. Before I play these clips about a woman who got arrested in Dubai, and I am elated.
because I always talk about how women feel the need to disrespect men. Every video I make, at last we get to see an example of a punishment when it comes to this unacceptable behavior. Now gentlemen, you know what I'm about to do. I'm about to go ahead and play this video and what I'm going to need you to do is uh, first know this is for educational purposes so I can teach my point of view and I'm using this out of fair use. Let's go ahead and do like cool in the gang and celebration time. Come on. All right. Let's celebrate. Hey. terrifying for a Houston woman who we're told is being detained in Dubai. Fox 26's Domly Keith joining us live near downtown Houston with why she's being held. Domly. Well, the crime she's charged with may surprise you, and Dubai is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she was charged with screaming in public. Yes, now, it's amazing how they try to take the side of this woman. She said that it may surprise you, gentlemen, that she got, that she got arrested, a black woman. It's surprised that a black woman has been arrested for screaming and yelling. We never see this in America. We have never heard of a black woman yelling and screaming at a man before. How surprising it can be. It, all, it also could result in prison time. So it's very scary. The trip turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Um, she dealt with a very aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. Baxter says her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent, she says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. Yes, now I want y'all to notice up. A few weeks ago I made a video Oops. about one of our sisters in. Damn, sorry about that. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I was trying to change the channel and I hit the uh, yeah for a while man I had to come back at a later, later time but I wanted to go just one video and and tell you about the latest on oh, this latest person you remember that young lady that, that was a therapist that was uh, going around shaking her butt and telling men to you know go down on her so to speak and she would, you know, call black men out and say, and she would just talk, talk us some off the wall things. And I mean, I mean, she was just saying some things that she's on TikTok. I mean, she's on OnlyFans. She's on, I don't know, she was on YouTube, a few other places. And she was just acting crazy, talking crazy, some crazy stuff, man. And I was like, man, and it says, chick need some help I mean some people just need but uh, and this one guy in M MTR got a recent video from her I'm, I'm trying to find a video now where she you know I think she she took some people's advice and she's gonna back off of social media for a while cuz and uh, I mean here she is it's, a psychiatrist and she was completely out of order with what she was doing and what she was saying how she was reflecting her, her profession and everything but the thing about it is she had take accountability of which is, is what really the reason why she's putting herself in a bind a really bad situation with her finances and she confessing this and saying this and telling to everybody out there who listen to this, and you know she met, she did she dug up her grave and she's she got to live with it, you know. But it's like a woman like her is not taking accountability to nothing, and it was her own fault because she you know she kept on clowning, trying to clown men, 
and she was foul and vile and nasty. You know, and wonder why she can't get no man to talk to her or even be with her because it's like you just giving off that kind of energy. You know, a man did the same thing. He'd be considered a pervert. You know? Saying some of the stuff she said. He'd probably get banned off altogether. He'd be a, a, a misogynistic, chauvinistic, and things like that. And, and it's true. He would be considered chauvinistic. I mean, some of the stuff she said, if that was a man, they would have kicked him off. So fat would have been funny. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to find that video. But, uh, I just saw that video, too. But, yeah, there's something wrong with these men. Like, some women, I don't know, maybe they think it's therapeutic to get online. Uh, uh, meanwhile, I think I'm going to entertain with, uh, what's his name here? Hey there, real quick, you guys. This is Steve Fisher, and I'm here to tell you about a great event video. from the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. We're hosting a 100% free self- Shout out to black men. We had a great live. We had a great live. We was talking about pookies. How these pookies be amongst us. And the telltale signs. And I tell you all the time that one of the telltale signs is language. One of the telltale signs is language. You got dudes out here uh, making content, calling themselves productive, but you out here using the N word. Like I said, I, I watched the guys live for about 20 minutes, and I counted how many times he used the N word 63 times. And you call yourself productive? We know what the word stem from, we know the history behind the word, yet you still want to use it. And then you want to say it's a term of endearment for who? For pookies? Not for productive black men. That's one of the telltale signs. That's why I say you can get your point off aggressively. You can get your talking point off aggressively without using the N-word. Without using foul language, period. I had brothers in the live saying, you know what? You're right. I never heard you use any foul language or say the N word. I said, go to any of the, any, any of the videos I've made. Check them. Go ahead and check them. See if I used any foul language, the B word, the F word. No. I tell you, brothers, you have a larger vocabulary than that. You have to be better with your diction. Especially out there dealing with society, your image matters and language matters. So stop using foul language. The other thing is gang culture. I don't talk about gang cultures. I don't respect gangs. The reason why I don't respect gangs is because the only people they target is the ones that look like them. Took out Nipsey Hussle, but you still have Zimmerman walking around these streets. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. And I'm not sticking up for uh, Nipsey. He joined the gang. You know what that came with, but you still get the point, right? There's a movie, right? Y'all heard of the movie. It's called Tales from the Hood, right? Yeah, I think there was like three stories. The last story is the most important story to me, right? And, you know, rest in peace to the brother Lamont Bentley, right, who played the role of Crazy K. Crazy K got shot, right? He was out there laying everything down. He got shot, right? When he got shot, uh, the police came to save him from the dudes that were shooting him, right? And he ended up in his program. And when he was in his program, it was supposed to be to basically make him see the error of his ways. And that's the only way he was able going to be able, he was going to be able to uh, complete the program, right? And what happened was he ended up next to a white supremacist, and a white supremacist said something to him that he didn't 
white. So he hit the white supremacy. The white supremacy said, yeah, I see that, but guess what? I bet the last people that you took out don't look like me at all. They look like you. He had nothing to say because he was right. He was right. He was right. All you do is take out people that look like you. That's cowardly to me. I don't. I don't care. That, I don't respect it. So when I, so when I see people, you know, talk about games and game culture, oh yeah, that's a pookie right there. That's a pookie. I don't care about games. Games don't do nothing for us, but vic- turn victims into the people. Turn the people that look like him to victims. That's all. That's all. Gangs, whether it's Pookie or Pukisha. Right? And um, also, another thing that happened while we was there in the live, right? Oh, oh, before I say that, shout out to the brothers who didn't join gangs that stood on their own too without having a gang in back of them. Shout out to you, brothers. You didn't need a thousand people behind you to back you up. You fought your fights and you went at it with people that you had to go at it with by yourself. Whether you won or lost, you fought your own wars. Shout out to you for being a man. Now, another thing that happened in the live, right? You had a dude who came in the live, right? He went by the name of, we're not going to say his name because the brothers in there went in on him, right? He have a channel. Now, the name of this channel is named based off of the code words we came up with over here in this space. So he came up with this name, and I said, hey, where you get the name from? Keep it a buck. You got it from over here, right? Now he's in my chat using, you, you know, hat with, with the name of the code words that we use over here, right? Instead of him keeping it in the box, say, yeah, I got it from over here, he's going to say no. Ain't going to say that the name, the terms that I use it predates me. And all the brothers in there had to let him know, no, it does not. Does not predate me. No. All the brothers had to let him know. And the thing is, you're talking to a bunch of brothers that have been in this space for a minute. These are seasoned vets. They know what is going on, what happened. Shout out to the brothers in the Patreon. And shout out to the brothers subscribed to the channel. Shout out to the brothers that show up in the chat. Y'all know things that I don't even know, and I consider myself a seasoned vet over here because I know everything about these keishas because they've been around here scheming and being a scam keisha for as long as we know. For as long as this space been around, as long as they've been introduced to this space. These brothers know what's going on, right? So when you're trying to tell them that no, uh, no, uh, you know, they, they let you know, like, no, I came up with these terms. I came up with what uh, uh, these uh, these uh, cold words. And the reason why I came up with these cold words, it's not just, I didn't just do it just to do it. I came up with these cold words because they were shut down. Uh, were shut down on a lot of things you couldn't say. For instance, black woman. If you have black woman in the title, they were coming after your channel, and also if you had a, if your channel was monetized, it would get demonetized as soon as you put black woman in it. So what do I do? Keisha, Keisha, black woman. Uh, death, you couldn't use death or dying, right? So what I say? Upper room, right? These are code words that we was using over here that we've been using over here, and these are code words that. Everybody over here knew about, and these code words been here for a minute. So when you use, you know, these code words to make up your channel and then say, here it is. I found it. I am a 
causes such financial ruin that it causes significant mental health distress. I don't sleep. I can't even afford to feed myself, so I can't even properly take care of myself, which hurts because I don't even have the proper resources to help people. You know, like, literally cut off my resources. It buried me, bro. Like, so, honestly, y'all apologies don't mean shit to me because my heart is broken. I'm mentally devastated. I dead ass cannot, like, function the way that I used to function. So, the only way that your apology will mean something of substance to me is if you take accountability for destroying my f***ing life, despite me not saying anything bad to y'all at all, taking corrective action by getting yourself help and addressing why you're so f***ing angry, Everyone else and throwing is something in my f***ing cash app, because like I said, I can't even feed myself anymore. That's an apology. So on top of all of the unhinged, she actually began to beg for money, but she did it in the most abhorrent way possible, blaming others for her own mistakes. Do y'all remember the TikTok therapist from about a year or so ago? Well, she has just recently announced that she is leaving social media, okay? Now, this is after she was fired from her place of employment after uploading obnoxious video after rude video speaking down towards men and got axed for it. Well, to my chagrin as well as our entertainment she has left up her entire catalog of videos demonstrating this prolific downward spiral in the crazy so we're gonna go over it here today now listen here's the reason why i want to do this is is that not only does she demonstrate all of the characteristics of modern woman today as i tell you guys key indicators in red flags not only is she rude obnoxious cringe she probably smells bad but also unaccountable as all hell blaming everyone except for herself for the position that she's in she twerks on a dime like a goddamn city girl even while giving her therapist talks but also it demonstrates to modern men today of the type of women that you should never ever choose and also it demonstrates the difference between smart and intelligent versus educated at a higher level so without further ado so we begin our journey at the first video that i was ever sent of this lovely young lady within that message and i still remember it today it said here's a therapist that also tells women to be a slut oxymoron you say i would agree with you but let's watch okay since some of y'all need the confirmation from mental health professionals if you want to be a hoe, be a hoe. if you want to be a slut, be a slut. If you want to go thought it out in the streets buy a bitch be in the streets but definitely be safe about it and try to find people that are reasonably sane but other than that, yellow, shake that shit open. Because you know why? Because you know why? You're going to die. And you want to be in your dead baby like, damn, I should have strobbed on this dog. Like, come on, you want to be there? No. No. You want to tell your grandkids, yes, I was dying. I was popping. Okay, I'm going to... I'm sorry. I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going to stop it right here because I don't want to show her twerking like she shows on her public-facing TikTok. But I, I would always think, like, yo, imagine a mother talking to a young daughter this way because you would think if she's giving this advice to her female clients if she was to have a daughter she'd be doing the same thing as well which is just so crazy to me see most therapists would tell you that listen your unbridled need for cock probably represents a lack or a dearth of something within your life and obviously she received backlash regarding this tech talk but instead of doing research and recounting her statements she doubled down so i'm looking for a new therapist and i think i found her yay <laughs> yeah, of course modern women searching for other modern women to make themselves unaccountable for the abominations Watch. I am completely and utterly baffled at the fact that me being a mental health professional and telling y'all to be is like just so like groundbreaking no one has ever affirmed that you can go bust that shit wide open and still be an okay person nobody affirmed for you that you can be the biggest that you want and still be okay no one ever affirmed for you that you can bust it wide 
in life if you do not increase your emotional communication skills, emotional intelligence, or any of these things. The Psychology Today article that my good sis is referencing is nothing but proof that these podcast alpha male bullshit ass father issue having ass motherfuckers is forcing y'all to a lifetime of singleness. I keep saying- Now, I have done an entire video debunking that entire Psychology Today article. But a lot of people use that as data, credence, information to talk badly about male-focused content. He's saying on this bullshit-ass app that women have these poor attitudes and all this other bullshit when men truly just need to extend their emotional vocabulary so they can flourish and have meaningful, healthy relationships. But instead, y'all live listening to these can you can I send you ass motherfuckers? and it's leaving you 50 and alone fix it i'll leave a link to that video that i created down in the description box down below so you guys can go off later and take a look at it because i'm sure you guys hear this psychology today article reference they lot. now that last video is where she officially went viral and she wasn't fired at that time so she had some time to respond to some of her haters including saying that she'll never get fired um for the people who are saying in the comments mostly men that my license should be taken away that's not how that through um i went through a lot of schooling and a lot of um tests and internships and practical hours um to earn said license and i can't i'm not gonna lose it because your feelings are hurt um in fact because your feelings are hurt i'm the perfect person for you to talk to Ego. Ego. <laughs> so a lot of people are like hey um i never go talk to her because of the person who traumatized me <laughs> things to be addressed in therapy again legitimate concern signing up for a therapist that elicits the same behavior and characteristics of the person that probably put you in therapy but again no accountability she sees her behavior as nothing wrong with it while working for a professional establishment constantly all over social on. media now after getting fired she kept all of her videos up which is ridiculous to me because you would think that she would get over her ego she would have learned her lesson but no she kept them all up in lieu of getting a new job but you know modern women go figure but instead of learning from her lesson she began to upload even more unhinged content hi king daddy um yes i am electing to choose violence all 2023 now as the goddess of chaos and destruction i have one goal what up Lilith? and that's to take that inner that's within y'all and turn it to bad <laughs> Now, I don't have a personal vendetta against men. At least I don't think. But I would just yes, preferably love if you went to talk to a mental health professional about everything that burdens you. So you can come burden me. <laughs> you tell me. However, y'all don't want to do a deep dive. So y'all can take <laughs> a deep dive. <laughs> And for the record, since you just like to run back and tail, I think every man who goes to therapy should get his I obviously don't know what to say at this point, so I'm just going to keep on going. Is it still unclear that I've been trying to get my cheeks clapped this whole time? I've been trying to be <laughs> mean. And it's not working. I just want my shit to go back from the back. You can't make this up. I to like really just like this man on my <laughs> But I fucked up and started loving myself and I don't accept the bare fucking minimum. Think about the hypocrisy. Remember she was telling women to go be sluts and now she's saying, but now I no longer accept the bare minimum. It's interesting how she conducts herself differently than what she instructs other people to do. But there you have it right there, feminist peacocking, all right? She was doing this all along to get eggplant. Hilarious and sad, but surprising? Nah, you lost your job over this, ma'am. What were you thinking? Apparently not much because she just kept on going. Yo, I got a fat It's like real fat. Remember this one? Like grandiose. Like fat. Like when you see me on the street looking real fine, fat. I have the fattest 
warm, loving, inviting, juicy, plump, scrum diddly -umptious. What's for dinner? This bitch. It'll feed a nation. <clears throat> Fat, girthy, heavy, meaty. Add the cherry on top of all of this and to further prove my point of no accountability, she began to upload content speaking about why everyone else is to blame for her current position. Let's have a fucking conversation and I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to sit down for this one because <laughs> there's trauma involved. Alright, so recently I've had an influx of male followers. Um the one common thing I keep seeing is them apologizing for actively destroying my fucking life. But I would like to explain why those apologies don't mean the same thing to me. Let me continue. People the show videos me like this only apologize after the fact once they see the ramifications of their actions. But they only apologize to make themselves feel better. Allow me to elaborate on what a real apology looks like. Real apologies involve an apology taking accountability or ownership for what the f*** did, and then changing the behavior. So corrective action. So men saying, oh, I'm sorry that we got you fired. It's way beyond that. And let me explain to you the consequences of y'all anger, because I told you to get yourself some help. I'm going to try to get through this without getting emotional, but y'all know me. What happened was the equivalent of y'all putting the nails in the coffin. I was already in such a fucked up place. And then on top of losing my job and my clients, my life has been exponentially more difficult. My car has almost been repossessed twice. I don't know how I'm going to rent daily or freaking monthly. Um, my electric literally just got cut off last week. Despite my best efforts, I'm trying to start my own shit. Violins, please. I'm trying to pick myself up by my bootstraps. Despite my best efforts, this shit has not worked. My life has gone down the f***ing bro. Y'all have ruined my professional reputation. Because of you! Y'all have ruined my What? Life. I have panic attacks all the time. The PTSD is through the roof. I don't even like leaving my house. I have to leave. This is just so crazy to me. <laughs> Baby girl, you uploaded the content. Right. It didn't ruin your life. You uploaded the content. I am living in the twilight zone. What is this? The number, if I ever have daughters, the number one thing I'm going. A medical. Let me stop this right here. This this chick, I tell you, man. Dude, now you see why some men, man. Now you see what I'm saying. Look, wait, don't look at a woman, what her body is. See what's upstairs. And I, I see, even if you go overseas, man, I'm, I'm serious, man. Wherever you go in the world and pick your wife, pick your woman, make sure she got her facilities up here. I'm telling you, and this is for the younger, I hope younger men see this too. Make sure she ain't crazy, man. I, I, I'm just saying, whether they old, young, middle aged, whatever. Man, I'm trying to tell you. Y'all be careful out there, man. You see what I'm saying? And she's not taking accountability. She put the stuff out there on social media, knowing that some people, maybe at her job, probably could have got her fired. You know, then they took it to the office and see her saying this stuff online. And she won't take accountability. And that's what's wrong with some American women. You won't take accountability. And say, yes, I screwed up. But yet, get an ego and think that men... Should apologize. My bitch, you the one did it. Anyway, like, ladies and gentlemen, and to the younger women, don't be like that woman. You don't need that much time and attention. But she screwed up. Now, it, she did the best thing. Get off of social media. And she need to get some counseling. Bad. Seriously. Sit down with another woman counselor. Try to dig out. What is going on upstairs? Why you keep backing out this way? You know, some big sister advice. And like somebody used to say, what happened to shame? What happened to bring back shame with some of these women, man? You know, some of these older women need to kind of school some of these younger women, man. Old-fashioned women. 
Like, that's not how to be a lady. Uh, I mean, and, and, you know, and, and you still won't be surprised what kind of crazy dude she tracked. Because she, you see how she act? So what kind of dude you going to track? You going to track the kind of dude you act like. That's why they ain't, they ain't going to talk to you. Ain't no man, man with no level head common sense, good income, going to mess with something like that. Ain't no way in the world. Ain't no way in the world. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, guys, be careful, man. And be careful what kind of woman you talk to. <laughs> All right, then. You guys take it easy. Until next time, see you on the next video. And be blessed. Share, like, and subscribe. Take care.